So are the bokers hunting your stops? Often it's the belief that many hold when they're coming in, that the bokers are always looking at your trade and basically wanting to stop you out to establish that loss. Perhaps you're thinking that the forex market is corrupt, that they're just out to get you. After all, every time you're placing the trade and you put your stop in, you're getting stopped out. And then the market moves in the direction of your initial trade. Now, stop, for those that don't know, is basically the place where you exit a trade if it goes against you, establishing a predetermined amount of loss. And if you follow my teachings at all, you'll know that I always recommend that you place a stop order on each and every trade, saving the account from blowing up on that trade that goes against you. Also remember that a stop order doesn't have to be placed a certain distance away to establish the dollar risk. You can place the stop order anywhere you like on the chart, and as long as you know how to position size, you can basically uh, reduce the size of the trade to accommodate where the stop needs to be. Perhaps you thought about being your own reverse indicator. If only I'd done the reverse on each and every trade I'd done in the last month, I would now be profitable. Some I know have actually set up a reverse copy program, basically that does the exact opposite. So they, what they do is they start trading their account um, on a demo account with their strategy, but then they reverse each and every trade in the real account with real money in the hope that that will turn profitable. Believe me, that doesn't work either. You'll find then that the demo account starts to make money and the real account starts to lose money. But I've seen it happen uh, time and time again. People believing that they can just do the reverse of what they are doing in the real market. Have you ever thought about turning your screens upside down? Changing the green candles to the red candles and the red candles to the green candles. Makes sense, doesn't it? I get that market wrong all the time in the real market. Let's turn it all upside down. Believe me, I've thought about doing that myself in the early days. So if you are suffering from all these negative thought processes and beliefs, chances are I know the reason. And the reason is you're most probably failing in the markets. You believe, maybe, that the world is out to get you and you might be missing some magic. So you keep looking over the fence for another educator with a perfect strategy indicator to tell you where to place the stops. If that is you, I'm pleased to tell you, you are not alone. Everyone goes through it, certainly when they're starting off. These thought processes are very, very common. But believe me, the broker is not out to get you. He's not looking at your account. Unless, of course, you're trading hundreds and hundreds of lots per trade they don't really care what you're doing. Now, if your broker is taking the other side of your trade, that's known as B-booking. Not a dirty word, a lot of brokers do it. If they are B-booking your trade, taking the other side of the trade, they don't need to stop you out at a level just because you've got to stop there. They know the chances are you're going to fail for a whole bunch of other reasons, not just stop placement. Psychology, fear, greed and the like they know that you're going to lose because you're going to suffer like most traders do when they start off. So stop, stop believing that the broker is out to get you on each and every trade. Chances are you're out to get yourself by your own mindset. So try and lose that negative thought process. It's not all about the broker. Ultimately, that's going to eat you alive and damage your account in the meantime. So if you are struggling, to know where to place your stops. I wanna show you a simple little indicator today that I talk about all the time that's gonna show you a good way to place the stops, keeping in mind that the broker doesn't care where you place them. Now you can use this to place your stops and your profit targets. You can use this on any strategy that you choose. Any of my trend following strategies uh, would work just fine, the ones I put here on the channel. Now I want you to do this on a demo account. I want you to record the results and then report back to me next week so we can compare the results. We'll jump onto the screens now and I'll show you exactly what I mean by using the ATR stop and profit targets. Come on. Okay, so let's start off by defining very briefly what the ATR is. It stands for the average true range. It's about the only indicator that I really use. It basically is a measure of momentum, how volatile a particular currency pay is over a particular time period. This, for example, is the one hour chart. So what we do, we look at the difference between the high and the low, the range, and we average out that in the number of pips over a predetermined 
look back period. Now we don't have to do that manually, of course. We can use the uh, bog standard indicators that are provided on most trader platforms. This is the TradingView platform. We'll look at the MT4 uh, in a moment. So what we do is basically go up to indicators, uh, look uh, for the average true range, just start to type average, and it should really default up there at some point. And yeah, there it is, average true range. Click it in there and up it will come at the bottom of the screen. You may want to make this a little bit clearer. Just click on the line, right click, and it will give you the actual settings as well. I can make that a better color um, for clarity. Uh, inputs, you can see here that it is a look back of 14 periods. Okay, so currently, uh, you'll see here at the bottom of the chart, the average true range at the moment of this is about, let's call it 90, in fact, let's call it 20 pips for easy calculation. It says 0 0.00195. Okay, so I'm going to round that up. I'm going to ignore the fifth decimal place. It's basically averaging about 20 pips per one hour candle. That's the average of the range. Okay, so if I wanted to use this, in my trading, doesn't matter what strategy you're using for this uh, example this week, this test this week, we're going to use a factor of the ATR. Let's use, for example, a two ATR stop. Now, I'm not going to talk about the entries here. That all is dependent on your own strategy. But if I'm entering a trade, I'm going to use a simple two ATR stop. Two times 20 is 40. So a 40 pip stop. And I'm going to use a factor of an ATR for my profit target. Let's say a three ATR. ATR is 20 pips. So three times 20 is going to be 60. So I'm going to have a 40 pip stop and a 60 pip profit target. That automatically gives me a positive risk to reward ratio. So for example, if I were to enter the trade here, because my strategy rules uh, basically told me to enter a buy trade, for example, at around this level here, so 108, so 90, uh, say 93, I would have my stop so 40 pips below, so that would be at 108.53. So we can basically put in uh, that stop level at around, say, there. And our profit target would be 380 hours, that's going to be 60 pips higher. 60 pips higher than uh, 93 is going to be. 53 to the upside, which would basically come in at around there. And I'm just doing that very crudely. Uh, there we go, 53, stick it in around there. Um, so there basically would be a positive risk to reward ratio, 280R stop, and a 380R profit target. Very simple way. The broker's not looking at that. They're not looking at any particular significant level. But of course, it's something that we will use in our trading going forward to give us a positive risk to reward ratio. Again, I want you to do this over a number of trades over the next week on a demo account. Just see how you get on without having to worry too much about the perfect place to put stops. Because ultimately, no one really knows the perfect place to put stops. Now let's see what it looks like on the MT4 platform. Okay, so this is the MT4 platform. You insert the indicators in the usual way. So you go to insert, indicators, uh, and you can go for, it's an oscillator. So it goes to average true range, top one, uh, defaults to 14, we'll keep the same color. And there it is at the bottom. And you can see uh, it's gonna be pretty much in line. Again, it's a 20 ATR, so it all works it out accordingly. And you place the uh, profit targets and stop loss levels in exactly the same way. So if you're entering here around the 93 level, you have your, um, your profit target around the 53, which is a uh, sorry, your stop loss around the 53 level, which is just a little bit lower there. And your profit target 60 pips above would be at um, 53 to the upside, which would basically come in um, at around uh, there. Okay, so that's basically how you would uh, uh, place your stop loss levels and take profit levels using uh, the simple ATR. Now, if you feel uh, really adventurous, you can also uh, do a search for some pre-coded uh, expert advisors that does all the work for you. Um, I found one a while back. I don't use it so much these days. I'm not going to give it out because it's not mine to give out. I just literally found it on one of the forums. But if you find, uh, if you want to do a search, I'm sure you'll find other indicators uh, similar. 
So you got a customs and it's called the ATR closed. I can put in here different factors of the ATR. So I'm just going to first of all change the colors. Inputs. I'm going to use a 14 period ATR. I need the moving average of the price to just be one so it uh, sticks with the price. Uh, I might want to use, say, a 2 ATR for factor one. And then a 3 ATR uh, for my profit target. I'll put a five on there as well and uh, see what it looks like. And there you see, it does all the work for you. So you can see here now these levels are ATRs away from where the current price is. If I was to enter a trade here now, my stop could be there. My profit target could be there. And away you go, does all the work for you. Um, as I say, uh, check out those. There's lots of places there that uh, offers such indicators. Not mine to give away. So unfortunately, I won't be doing that. So using the ATR, if you're struggling with stop placement, absolutely nothing wrong with it. I know many, many traders, successful traders that are using ATRs um, for their stop placement, taking all the guesswork away. Unfortunately for most, it's the guesswork that causes the emotions to be tested and ultimate failure. There you go. Okay, so if you found that useful, don't forget now to go and do this on a demo account and then drop your results maybe uh, Thursday or Friday of next week uh, and share with me your experience by doing just that on a demo account as well so it doesn't cost you anything just in case I'm completely and utterly wrong. Has been known, of course. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget, of course, to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. Hit that bell notification, we'll notify you the moment the next video has been released. You can follow us on all the socials as per usual. Don't forget, we are streaming live around the clock, five days a week. Um, now basically covering all sessions, from the Asian session all the way through to the European session and of course the US session as well. Uh, you can join in with that by going over to forexsignals.com, take out a seven day free trial. If you want to stay, you don't have to pay, but I'm sure you'll love it. If that's not your thing, that is not a problem. I'll see you next week. Have a good week.